Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today I'm uh, uh, going to talk about the deduction uh, and also to revise the, uh, uh, the induction. Uh, just little, little question before starting. Um, what is the importance of induction? Ish ahamiyat al-induction from the previous meeting. يعني ليش إحنا why we are using induction ليش نستخدم induction؟ أها؟ okay. It is a quantitative approach. Okay. What else? إيش في كمان؟ في ال what is the important of induction؟ ليش يعني induction نستخدمه؟ Ah, induction. So you don't know now. It's okay. Let's go back to the deductive deduction. What is the importance of deduction? Is a meter deduction? Ah, ah, no, just deduction. What is deduction? Ah. Not necessarily what is in the uh, what you're understanding. Is in the previous meetings about deduction. Testing what? Testing the theory. Uh, you are testing theory. So deduction, testing theory. Testing theory. <coughs> right. Yeah, next Faradia. What it means theory? Show here theory. Uh -huh. um, many research questions uh, include some models. Uh, th theory is answering the possible answer for research questions. Uh, testing models. Okay, what is models? Some hypotheses. We have hypotheses. Okay, hypotheses. Uh, uh, this is deductive. So the deductive approach is the way uh, to answer the research question by testing the theory. And the theory includes model. You, you should have the model. And then the model includes hypotheses. Uh, the hypotheses include variables. We have dependent variables and we have independent variables. So this is the story of deductive. Deductive is a quantitative method. Deductive is a quantitative method. Quantitative. It could be what? No. Um, it could be uh, after examining the theory, uh, if you want to go beyond why the theory failed to answer your research question, then you go to talk about qualitative. I will explain today uh, the connections between the quantitative and the qualitative, deductive and inductive. Okay? Inductive, inductive is the opposite. Is the opposite, yes. It's building theory. He is testing theory. Okay, you are building the theory. But the starting of bold, yes, data collection. You start by the data collection. Then from the data collection, you are building the theory. Theory, sorry? No. Not generate ideas. Uh, generate ideas uh, is the initial steps in the research methodology. Before the data collection, you generate your ideas, your research questions, then you go uh, in um, doing the analysis. Let's go back to the story again. In each step in the story, we add new things. For كل إضافة. في كل إعادة شرح نحن نضيف شغلة جديدة. Deductive start by research questions. You are testing the theory. Then you have model. You have hypothesis. You have variables. 
and you're testing the theory by the data collection. Testing using the data collection. The data collection in this, or the data methods here, could be questionnaire or no, not interview. Questionnaire or survey. Questionnaire. So you are using the questionnaire. But in the inductive, you're starting the data collection by using observation. Observation. Observe. Or you interview people. Or focus groups. So the initial uh, difference between the inductive and deductive is the way you start your approach. You're starting here by testing the theory, but in the inductive, you start by the data collection. OK. Oh. Uh, you should justify from the philosophical foundation whether the qualitative complement the quantitative, okay? W when you're getting the answers from the quantitative part, what is the rule of, of qualitative? You will ask yourself, qualitative? And what is the rule of the quantitative? Why did you the quantitative? وليش استخدمت لي كوانتيتيف؟ احنا استخدمنا لي كوانتيتيف فور انسنس تو تيست ا بارتيكولار موديل تو تيست ا هايبوثيسيس. ذن وي ماي يوز كوانتيتيف تو هاف مور اكسبلينيشنز فور ذا ريزلتس. سو يو ار يوزينج مور بوث كوانتيتيف اند كوانتيتيف. بس ستيل كوانتيتيف از جيفينج ذا اكسبلينيشن اوف يور ريزلتس فروم ذا كوانتيتيف. يو ار نوت يوزينج ذا كوانتيتيف ان ذيس question to building a new knowledge. Uh, just to explain the existence knowledge. I will give you more examples in details about deductive and inductive. Because it's very, very interesting issues. And some, some students, they get confused from understanding the deductive and inductive. OK? Khalina uh, Kaman, to see more details in the picture. Shuf Akhtar. Uh, details. Okay. Uh, if we look here, is the deductive? Oh, sorry, the deductive. And here is the inductive. Uh, here from general, yeah, to specific. OK. If you talk about deductive, we go from general to specific. It means from the theory. to the specific, to the hypothesis. But if you talk about the inductive, you talk from specific to general. No. From specific, look, from specific to general. Again, for deductive, you have the theory. Then you're testing the theory. Uh, you generalize the theory for specific items. But for the inductive, you go to the specific items and you have repeated ob observations. Then you are building the theory uh, to general. OK? This is from theoretical point of view. Let's go in details. details And understanding the deductive. So in the deductive approach, as I said, it's go from general to specific. Just remember this. 
triangle, general to specific. What it means? It means you go from the theory, which is the general framework of understanding or explanation of your research question, to the specific. I will give you an example. Uh, the theory saying, this theory, th saying that active managers performing, performing their jobs on time. This is what the theory is saying. Active managers performing their jobs on time. This is called sometimes premises. Premises. Or some people call this is hypothesis. Okay? So premises, hypothesis, theories, whatever. So don't get confused from the different names of the, uh, of the theory. Uh, because some, some people, they're giving different names. Theory, theorem, uh, premises, propositions, etc. So we have two things here in the theory. إيش شغلتين أساسيات في الثيوري هذه؟ طلعوا لي إياهم، إيش في شغلات؟ آه، variables، صح، إيش في variables؟ إيش؟ استنوا شوي. Read it, read it properly. اقروها منيح. Active managers. Okay. Managers performing their jobs on time. Okay, where is the. Huh? The time. Active managers. So we have two things in this theory. You said active managers and performs job on time. Perform job on time. Okay, so this is the general hypothesis, the general theory. As I said, we go from the general to specific. Now, this is the first. The second, Muhammad, so this is our assumption now. Muhammad is an active manager. So, so we have two things. We have the general theory and we have the specific. The general saying the active managers are performing their job on time. That's fine. But the hypothesis saying Muhammad is an active manager. So what is the conclusion? What is the conclusion then? Now we want to test. If Muhammad is an active manager, so he will perform his job on time. That's it. So the general theory is saying any managers, any active managers, uh, should perform his or her job on time. This has been tested before. It's a theory. So it is certain. That's any active manager, be careful, certain. Muakkad, any active managers performing their jobs on time. So it's, it's, it's real. And if we have Muhammad or Saeed or it's the specific one, if he's an active, then the conclusion is Muhammad as an active manager performing his job on time. That's it. So this is the specific. Okay? So we go from the general to specific. So it's certain, because the theory being built before, saying active managers performing their jobs on time. And because Muhammad, or Saeed, or Inas, or Rida, is an, are an active managers, so they should perform, or they must perform job, their jobs on time. Now, 
if this goes wrong. إذا هذا كلام غلط. So what it means? Before going in a modification or modified your theory, you have to check whether whether you test this properly or not. Does Muhammad is an active manager? Hal Muhammad, active manager? Or you expect he is an active manager? Because the theory is saying it's active managers. Okay? So the idea is, is to examine whether Muhammad is an active or not. After going to criticize the theory. Given ما نروح نعمل احنا criticize the theory. Because the theory is built uh, through, um, uh, uh, through a large volume of literature. You are, it's already tested. So the certainty is high. التأكيد فيها إيش؟ عالي جدا. Okay. I will give you example from physics or from chemistry. Uh, it's, it's related to this. So we understand this uh, deductive, starting with theory, theory, then we have the uh, hypothesis, and we have the conclusion. And the conclusion is a specific, which is related to the, uh, to the theory. OK. Uh, you remember from, the, uh, uh, from chemistry class on your uh, high degree, uh, the equation of uh, H2O. في حد بيعرف معادلة المية؟ You know this? Please write, write it down, please. معادلة المية. اكتبي لي إياها. Oh yes, just very simple. خليها صح تكتبوها. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is. This is a model. It's been tested and it's been examined that two hydrogen plus oxygen is equal H2O, which is the water. Now, if we have the results CO2, it's, it means these two items are not O2H. This is not hydrogens. It could be carbon. So you cannot criticize the model. You criticize yourself, whether you have the hydrogens or carbon. Similarly, if you go back to the, uh, to the main theory about the active managers, whether you have active managers or inactive managers. If you have inactive managers, you are not expected to perform their jobs on time. See? So before criticizing this equation, because this is, equation is true, you cannot claim that H2 plus O is equal to CO2. No. You mistakenly replace the hydrogen with carbon. That's it. It's, it's, the measure is wrong. Just go back to the previous class or the previous meeting when we talk, you measure the variables or you, when you measure the concept. What is active managers? Okay? Okay, this is the, deduct the deductive approach. Let's go to think in the inductive approach. How we have the same things, uh, the same theory uh, in the inductive. Okay. Uh, the inductive approach, as we mentioned, is uh, understanding what the, uh, the way human build their world uh, and permitting alternative ex explanations of what is going on. It's, it's alternative. What it means alternatives? It's the probability of people behaviors. See, I said probability. It's not certain. <laughs> Uh, I will give you a very little example. Look at here. Okay. What what this? 
Uh, please uh, draw this. It's a triangle. Okay. So, is this a triangle? Uh, look at the dots. It could be triangle or could be another thing else. It could be circle. Because circle is connected all dots together. See? What it means from, from the inductive point of view, the inductive point of view is the probabilities. The probabilities of having this triangle, yes, because it's connected the three dots together. And also the circle do the same job. So it could be circle and could be triangle. So it's fine. Now, what is the difference, deductive and inductive? The repeated observations, the repeated observations of your research phenomenon it gives you to the certain extent, extent that these dots are not circles. It's a triangle. We will see. Let's go back to the, uh, to the example. We see here, here. Uh, just remember repeated observation. Uh, just more focus. In the deductives, you don't need to more focus. But in inductive, you have to read the brains of people. You have to understand what is behind the people. And I will go back about the active managers and sales, just to understand this. Now, uh, the first observation saying it's triangle. The second observation say this is circle. It could be another observation give uh, another shape. We are not sure. When you go more and more, uh, you have many dots. Uh, these dots represent more observations, more understanding for this. It's now, it's a clear, you can see this is. Ah, it's, so, it's, so the circle is not connected all dots, see. If you can't talk about the circle, ah, circle is not connected to all of these things. Only the triangle, uh, what it means from the research point of view. The more observations you have, okay, the more precise understanding of your research phenomenon you will have. And then you can generalize. So the starting point of your research in the inductive is the observation. And from the observation, you can conclude this is a triangle or circle. But if you connect this with deductive approach, deductive approach saying the any 180 degrees with the three lines connected with each other is a triangle. It's a clear. يعني أي شكل بتكون من 180 درجة وفي ثلاث أضلاع بيكون تريانجل. It's certain. وبالتالي اعملوا أي شكل في ثلاث أضلاع وفي 180. Okay. لو قلنا عندنا شكل A وشكل B وشكل C is this is this is this. So three lines connected with each other. 180 degree, 180, so it's a triangle. So we have the main theory and we have the specific. But in forming this triangle is coming from the observation. So the connecting observation with each other forming the reality. Tamam? reality Let's go back to the active managers. Now, from the inductive approach, you go to the company and you don't know. 
because you want to see uh, the nature of the company. You're coming, let's say, uh, starting at eight, ending with a three. Are you coming? You have uh, 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 approval from the gatekeeper of the company to have observation and to interview people. You sit down and observing people. Some people coming on time, others coming before, uh, before the uh, uh, eight o'clock, others are coming on the midday. Now, there are some people coming at 7.30, people coming at 7.45, people coming at, oh, people coming at 05. So these dots, these represent dots. Then you do grouping from the initial observation. A grouping is some people coming before, some, some people coming on time, some people coming late. It's a group, you observe this. So you came with empty frame. You don't have any things in your hands. Just observing, interviewing people. Okay, so you have group A, some people coming before eight. Some people coming, uh, group B, on time at eight. So they are queuing on the, uh, just scanning their fingers on, on the, at eight. Uh, others see uh, after eight. They see after eight. This is the first observation. Then you go to the, you go to their offices. You go to their offices. You look at their office. Uh, some people, they leave their office tidy, mm -hmm. others untidy. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, they uh, have the meetings, other, so you are trying to, to have more observations. Uh, see, tidy office, untidy office. Uh, if you have more observations, some people, they answer their emails on time, others, they delay their answers of the emails. Now, you link between these observations with the groups. A group A, for instance, you observe because you have more observations on A, B, and C. A group A, active, coming before eight, their offices are tidy, they answer their emails on time, etc. So you connect the dots. Connect the dots. So active managers then coming on time or before eight, their offices are tidy. They have different meetings. They have timetables, etc. And then you have group B and you have group C. Then you, you conclude. Active managers have these criteria. The uh, less active managers, they have this criteria, and then the lazy managers, they have this criteria. Okay, so you have the first assumptions, or the initial understanding. It's fine. Then you go to another company. You have similar observation. You repeat the observation again, and then another company, and another company. Uh, so in this way, you are building the theory. You conclude, okay, according to our observations, active managers coming before eight, mm -hmm. answering their email on times, uh, respect their uh, supervisors, uh, subordinates, they, their offices are tidy, they have many meetings, etc. So you are not just only built on a particular observation, in one particular observation. The more repeated observation you have, to a particular social phenomena, then you can conclude and build the theory. Okay? So in this way, you are building the theory. What it means building the theory? Building the understanding of the social phenomena about the... So you see the difference. Uh, in the first, we have the theory and the deductive, but in the inductive, 
Now we collect the information uh, from the observation, observation, or in-depth interview, uh, focus group discussions, uh, group discussions, etc. In this way, you are building your theory. Look at here. So understanding why humans build their own words, uh, permit, permitting alternative explanations, being concerned with the context of events, uh, using more qualitative data, more qualitative data. You are using more qualitative data. Uh, you repeated your jobs. You repeated your observation. Some, some people, they build their knowledge on a particular single observation. So they cannot generalize. Be careful. The induction approach is suffering from generalizability. Because it goes from specific to general. So if the specific is not enough, then you cannot generalize. If you observe one company, for instance, or two companies, so you cannot generalize all of these companies are, ah, let's give you an example. Uh, it's, it's a very simple example. You know kids, one of, uh, of, the, of the little boy asking his mom, mom, uh, the, the ambulance, uh, they are doing many accidents. The ambulance is doing many accidents. Is him too? Is this right? هل هذا صحيح? But this little boy. Okay, yeah, I want to explain this. Sorry. خلينا نفهم من كل explanations. The little boy asking his mom, mom. The ambulance having or doing more accidents. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. And he see the ambulance and go fast, yeah, driving so fast. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay. 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 الاسعاف بيعمل حوادث كثير بالضبط but he the, the little boy explained this mistakenly he connects with the presence of ambulance with the accidents لانه هو بيطلع مع امه كثير تمام في المرات اللي مرات بيطلع فيها بشوف حادث سير بيجي بكون جنبه ambulance so he perceive the ambulance did the accident. But if he look at the social phenomena from the very beginning, he cannot conclude the ambulance make the accident. The context, please. The context. هو مارك في الهاي واي ولا في الموتور واي ولا مارك في في او ماشي في شارع المختار ولا في الرمال شاف ال ال الاسعاف جنب السياره اللي عامله حادث فهو طبيعي حيفكر يقول والله الاسعاف بيعمل حوادث كثير ولا لا؟ اتس اسايس يعني اتس كونكلوجن ذا مور اوبزرفيشنز فروم ذيس ليتل بوي اوبزرفيشن اكثر من ليتل بوي خلاته تعمل كونكلوجن انه هدول الاسعافات بتعمل حوادث they go, Mom, no, not this. Mish hadal, this, this, you are, you are wrong. The ambulance coming to save the people. It's correct what he thinks. Ijat al Safat ish? To save. Tunkaz al Nas. Yes, it's context. Because this little boy is not observing the observations. The story from the very beginning. Mashafish, the observation. Okay, let's take take the reality around. If this boy sitting down and he observe 
the accidents. And then the ambulance coming. Then he concludes, oh yes, the ambulance coming to, the, to save people. So why am I giving the, you this example? Because when you come to observation, look at the observation at this environment, at the context of the environment. You connect the dots with a particular environment. Dot separates. Okay, another boy. Oh, listen, uh, the mom keeps silent. Okay, yes, because she's busy. Uh, he went to the school and say, friends, see, the ambulance are bad. Oh, why? Because they do uh, many accidents. Oh, yes, the police also bad. Because they did many accidents. The, the another... Another boy. The will go, oh, yes. Oh, the, the police, too. Come on, short. Come on. The will go, yes, I observed the police in front of the accidents. Because these two little boys, they are not looking at the context of the environments. Again, if mom's not correcting the understanding, uh, transferring the knowledge to the child who is in the middle of the school. See, I was talking to my mom and I told her that the lines are going to be a lot of things. She said, ah, and I want to talk to you about this thing. She said, and 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 she said, بقول له اه انا طلعت كنت مع ماما مع بابا المره اللي فاتت وشفت انه الشرطه كمان تعمل اسعافات او ريل يس اوكي ليتس توك تو اور تيتشر بروح تنين لمين؟ للمس تبعتهم اللي تقول له جون ثينكينج ذات ذا امبولانس هافينج مور اكسيدنتس اند ام ام تو ثينكينج ذا بوليس دوينج مور اكسيدنتس اه بوث اوف يو رونج والناس بتنقذهم تخيلوا انه احنا ممكن نعمل ابحاث زي الليتل بويز متخيلين الكلام هذا؟ ايه؟ اند وي اند وذ رونج اسامبشنز رونج كونكلوجنز واي سو اتس امبورتنت تو هاف ذا ذا كونتكست اوف ذا ايفنتس اف ذيس جاي سي اور واتش ذا موفي That when the accidents, the ambulance coming and the uh, police coming, so then they conclude, oh yes, police coming to see and to do assessment for the uh, traffic issues. Okay, look at here, using a variety of data collection methods. You know when the, the little boy asking his mom? It's, it's from, from methodology point of view, he's interviewing his mom asking the knowledge of his mom. Because his mom acknowledged that the ambulance coming when, the, when we have accidents. So it's correcting. So this is why using a variety, variety of data, not only observation, it could be used in-depth interview. So why are you coming late? Oh yes, we have uh, the traffics, we have. You can come tomorrow and see whether this particular guy coming on time or not. And then, and you know what the, the, the research is saying. So it's, it's, it's real. It's, it's real. It's real. So, What is the right approach? Deductive or inductive? Both are right. Yeah. Okay? They complement each other. The right things, whether you have theory or not. If you don't have theory, go inductive. If you have theory, go deductive. Tamam? So the things uh, uh, talk about the research philosophy, it's important to you because it determines uh, what's your Uh, inductive, deductive. What is your research methods? Uh, what is your data collection methods? In next meeting, in chapter five, I will go in details about the questionnaire, um, 
observation, uh, interviews, uh, focus group discussions, etc. Okay, any question, please? Thank you. Okay. Take care. Have a nice day. Thank you.